What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to get good noise suppression for free on your Windows PC. Um, so first of all, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, uh, you probably should not follow this tutorial. You should probably just download NVIDIA Broadcast. It's a really good application. It has a good built-in noise canceling. Um, so for everyone else, first thing you're going to want to do is download Voice Meter Banana. So you're going to go to voicemeter.com, download Banana. You're going to follow the default installation um, steps. Don't customize anything. It's going to require one PC restart. So go ahead and do that. Once you're back in the Windows, you're going to open up Voice Meter Banana. And you're going to need to set your physical inputs up here. So this is going to be your microphone. So in my case, I'm using my G Pro X headset mic. And you're going to want it to be mapped to a virtual output. So in my case, I'm mapping to B2. And then for your hardware output, this is going to be your headset. You're going to want to choose whatever you want for A1, A2, A3. I have different outputs, one for my headset, one for my capture card, one for my speakers. And then over here in the virtual inputs, under this voice meter input, you're going to want to choose the A box that corresponds to your headset or your speakers. And then after that, you're going to go to settings. So once you're in settings, uh, for the output sound, you're going to choose voice meter input. And basically what that's going to do is um, your Windows is going to send your sound to this virtual input here in voice meter. And then voice meter is going to send it to whatever output you have selected here and here. Um, and then for your microphone on Windows, you're going to choose voice meter out B2. You could also use B1, but I use B2. Um, so that's why I have B2 selected here. So basically what this does is voice meter is going to get your, your microphone input first, and then it's going to output to B2, which is right here. And then so in other applications like Discord, you're going to choose B2 as your um, microphone, and it's going to work. So one more thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to menu and then you're going to go to system settings and you're going to want to turn on this in one left and in one right. And this is going to allow this other program we're going to install to do the noise suppression. Um, so basically I'm going to bang on my keyboard right now. I'm currently like pressing keys on my keyboard. My keyboard's really loud. And then I'm going to turn these off and you're going to see the difference. So huge difference in uh, noise suppression. Well, there was no noise suppression before, but that's the effect you can expect to get when you follow this tutorial. All right, so now to install Lighthost, you can go to this link. I'll put it in the description. You're going to click on the latest release here, and then you're going to download the zip. Uh, I just I do Win64 because I'm on 64-bit. I'm pretty sure most of you are as well. You're going to download that. You're going to extract it. And then you're going to move this folder to somewhere because it, there's no installation. It's just you're just going to run this application. In my instance, I move this folder over to my program files. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and create a folder named Plugins. And you're not going to have anything in there right now. You're going to go ahead and go to this other link, which is also in the description. And then you're going to also click on the latest release. And you're going to go ahead and download this zip file. You can open that up. And once you're here, you need to move this into the plugins file that we made earlier. So that was over here. So inside the Lighthost folder, in the plugins, you're just going to drag this folder into the plugins folder. And then once you start up Lighthost, it'll appear over here. It's not going to like pop up with anything. It's just going to be in your, um, I forgot what this is called, but it's going to be in there. You can go ahead and left click it and you can go to preferences 
and you're first going to choose ASIO and then you're going to choose voice meter insert virtual ASIO and just leave all these checked and then check these first two um, it is going to depend on what you have uh, selected in your voice meter settings but in my case this is what I need so once you have that you're done setting up your preferences in Lighthost and you can close that out you're going to left click Lighthost again and then edit the plugins and then you're going to click on options and then you're going to scan for new or updated VST plugins and then you can go ahead and add a folder right here and you're just going to go ahead and choose the folder that we already had and then you're going to click scan and then it'll automatically pick up these two plugins um, and then in my case I use the stereo version uh, I don't really notice the difference between the mono and stereo but since my voice meter is on stereo I just use stereo so after you activate that you should notice a difference in the microphone so I'm gonna go ahead and record a difference um, before and after using the noise suppression so my keyboard's really loud you can hear it through my headset microphone and I'm gonna keep tapping and I'm gonna activate this so big difference in the clacking probably still hear a little bit in the background but it should be mostly good um, yeah so that's how you do that Hope this helps. I'll see you guys next time.